wanting to know who was on board these planes. We are getting new information on the list of people on board the two planes that left here from Boston. David and Lynn Angel. He was the executive producer of the NBC TV show Frasier. 52-year-old John Oganowski was the pilot of the flight. He lived with his wife and three daughters at a farm in Dracut, Mass. Oganowski's brother is in the Air National Guard and he wants to help avenge these murders. This is quite a cowardly act what we have seen today. Uh, attacking civilians, not military. Um, Whatever it takes, my, my unit will be involved, and I would like to be the first one to step forward and be involved with that. John had two personalities. There was two people in one. One, people knew him as an airline pilot. But the other side of him was a farmer. And we always used to joke around. Was he a, a farmer dressed up like an airline pilot? or an airline pilot dressed up like a farmer. See the farmer dressed up like an airline pilot or were you looking at an airline pilot that was dressed up like a uh, farmer? And it was my brother-in-law Jim. And I was watching uh, breaking news on CNN and they said the airplane hit the World Trade Center. That's me, John. You can see something happening on television, you know it's real. You can, you can see, see something, something happening, happening on, on television, television you, you know, know it's real. real. And John did that. He did that in his life, and he did it in his death. Our life today is very good. Uh, we still look out and see my brother-in-law, who now operates the farm, operating the tractors, working around the farm. And I can't tell you how often I look out and think, that should be John, but it's not. And, you know, you move on with your life. John was at the controls of the Boeing 767 the morning of September 11, 2001. This farmer and father was flying American Airlines Flight 11, the first airplane to hit the World Trade Center. Airplane hit the World Trade Center in New York City. As soon as I heard that, I called my sister-in-law Peg and she answered the phone and she says, Jim, it's John. going to school to pick up his children. Whew. Yeah, tough. Yeah. After the funeral, Jim took over the farm while John's wife raised their daughters. As the months passed, the healing of time gave Jim the renewed spirit to literally pick up where John had left off. Uh, we still look out and see my brother-in-law who now operates the farm operating the tractors, working around the farm, and I can't tell you how often I look out and think, that should be John. John was at the controls of the Boeing 767 the morning of September 11, 2001. you happen to check this message? No. All right, don't touch that thing. Hi, it's Laura. We're getting an extra day of rehearsal, so I'm coming in tonight instead of tomorrow. American Flight 11, 1030. Can't wait. Bye. Great news. I can't wait to see you guys. I've been on my own way too much lately. See you at 1030, Flight 11. Love you. Bye. NBC's Ann Thompson was in the vicinity of the World Trade Center when the buildings began to come down. Ann? Hollywood could never imagine something like this. A tidal wave of smoke and debris came roaring down Broadway. At 10.30, I tried to leave the building, but as soon as I got outside, I heard a second explosion and another rumble and more smoke and more dust. American Flight 11, 10.30. Can't wait. Bye. Great news. At 10.30, I tried to leave the building, but as soon as I got outside, I heard a second explosion. He was the executive producer of the NBC TV show, Frasier. See you at 10.30, Flight 11. Love you. Bye.
At 10.30, I tried to leave the building, but as soon as I got outside, I heard a second explosion and another rumble and more smoke and more dust. American Flight 11, 10.30. Can't wait. Bye. Great news. At 10.30, I tried to leave the building, but as soon as I got outside, I heard a second explosion. He was the executive producer of the NBC TV show, Frasier. Tomorrow, American Flight 11, 10.30. Can't wait. Bye. Great news. See you at 10.30, Flight 11. Love you. Bye.